I'm blind and today I'm taking my guide dog, Mr. Maple, out on a very typical rainy, gray Seattle day <laughs> in January. <laughs> this is why we live here, Matthew. Maple, my guide dog, does not like water, does not like the rain, hates puddles, has never swam. As far as we know, right, Matthew? Yeah, not that we know. I can't imagine him swimming. Th what does he have on? This is his adorable little uh, rain jacket. Oh, what so cute. Oh, his little tail's going. <laughs> he doesn't wear this often, and I was trying to get him to uh, jump up onto something, and he was refusing to do that. No, I can't move my limbs in this. <laughs> All right, buddy, are you ready? Let's okay, go. so the first thing I do with my, my harness yeah. is I touch his head. I feel where his head is so I can slip the harness over his head. He's very used to it. And then I pull his leash through like that. Okay. And then I have to get down to clip around his belly. Okay. And this is a really good way to uh, manage their weight to make sure that they're in good condition. Because if it gets too tight, you know maybe they've had a few too many kibble treats. Uh oh. All right, and then you give a little kiss. Mwah. Uh, most <laughs> important part. Where are we going? Where are we? Um, we are somewhere in downtown Seattle. So. Um... Just so everybody knows, just so everybody knows. Matthew has taken us to an undisclosed location. He's dropped me in the middle of the city. I actually am not even 100% sure where we are right now. That's the fun of having a guide dog, because Mr. Maple's gonna help us find a uh, place to have breakfast. Do you know why, Matthew? Why? I'm starving. Yeah, me too. Are you hungry? <laughs> yeah, let's go get breakfast. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, he saw that yellow curb. Yes, good boy. Wanted to take you there. Take all the way. Good boy. Oh, we have, we have time. We have time? Yes, let's sure. go. So Matthew, yeah. with my tunnel vision, I look across the street and I can spot the studs. That thing right there? Yes. Okay. Maple took me over here. Yep. It's another curb. Yep. He's just kind of asking if I want to go here. So in this case, I'll say, let's go this way. Thank oh, you. Hello. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, Maple, forward. Oh, he bypassed that one. He's like, you want to go straight, don't you? Oh, good boy. Good boy. So as I was saying, Matthew? Yes, yes. Right over here. here. Yeah, right here. I have extreme tunnel vision. So I look across the street and I can see that little... I, can, I, I, I get it in my, the line of my vision. Okay. Sometimes it takes me a second to find it, but I eventually did. So we can go. We can. Okay, Maple. Forward. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, all the way. Okay. He should not have done that. Yeah, he skipped this one over he here. He took me over here. <laughs> That's not good. Matthew. This yeah. is a uh, doggy daycare. Yes. I can, I can hear all these dogs. Yes. They have a lot of these in Seattle. Okay. And so anytime Maple and I pass a place like this, the dogs want to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Does Maple want to say hello? Can we come yeah, say you hi? can. He's a little unsure. <gasps> hi. Hello. Okay. Oh. How was that? Is his tail wagging? Yeah, a little it bit. Yeah, but like... kind of in an unsure way. Okay. All right, let's go. Good boy. Let's go. I don't think he likes those ones. No. I don't think he's a fan. Oh yeah, he's got his head down. He is going. He is motoring right now. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's no, let's go down here. But look at his paws are perfectly on the corner of the yellow. With my left foot, I can feel where we are. I can feel these bumps. Oh these are, yeah. These are actually here for the They are there. super tactile. I'll give him a little pat. Okay. I'll give him a little treat. Oh. Because he had a good Did you like your little treat? Was that yummy? And now I'm searching and I, I'm struggling to find the signal. Because it's not. Oh it's not yeah. Right. It's over to one sign. Sometimes I can't find the signal. Then what do you do? I wait to see if other people are crossing. Good. Oh, very good. Forward. 
What if there's no one with you? Then I listen for cars and I just run. <laughs> Somebody asked a couple of years ago if I've ever stepped on his paws. Yeah. And at that time I hadn't. Uh oh. And since then I've stepped on them so many times. Oh no. Every time I do it, I think about that person who asked. Poor Maple. He doesn't seem to care. I think they're huh. very resilient. Okay. You know? Does he yelp? Never. I think we have some construction ahead. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, we got some construction. Is there a detour? Nope. Oh, I just stepped on his paw. Uh-oh. Okay, forward. Okay. So, did you see that little right turn I made? Yes. It's just a little bit of footwork. No, he is not bothered by the noise. That's one incredible thing about maple and guide dogs in general. There's a lot of loud noises here in the city. A lot of crashing, random things, like not cars crashing, but construction sites. <laughs> things that make me jump. <laughs> and maple is cool and calm the whole time. Yeah, he is totally in phase. Even when I do, I jump. And he's just like, what's got you upset? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, do you want to cross the street here or go Yeah, let's this? cross. Oh. Good boy. He stopped me at this curb. Yeah. I've actually trained him just to take me up a ramp and not bother stopping. Wow, and that's customizing something your dog. I've customized him a little bit because I live in a city. I'm in a hurry a lot of the time. And so once we've made it across the street, I'm okay if we continue walking. Oftentimes there's people behind me and they'll walk right into us if yeah. we don't just keep the pace. We stop at down curbs, but we skip the up curbs unless it's a tripping hazard. Okay. You have to do a little bit of cheerleading. Hey, people! No, 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 I mean, as the handler, cheerleading. Oh, what was that? That was a, one of those uh, scooters. Okay, so that's very normal. We'll do a weird veer in the path, and it's because, of course, Maple is trying to get around an obstacle. Scooters like that are very prevalent in the city. I didn't see it, but, they're everywhere. But the cheerleading, the cheerleading is part of being a handler. It just, it's the communication between you and your dog. It's a little bit of positive affirmation. Matthew, can you, can you smell a good uh, breakfast location? Um, I think if we either go forward or maybe forward and left, maybe. Okay. Do you want to do any special skills, like find a chair or something like that? Yeah, there is a bench forward and left, so you could, Okay, perfect. How far to the left? Like how many? Um, so right across and like just like 10, so I can, 10 feet. We can turn left and then after a couple steps I can say find a chair. Yeah. And yeah. we'll see if he takes me to the bench. Okay. We've never been here before. It's called generalizing. Okay. All right, Maple, forward. Generalizing is a special skill of guide dogs. They're able to generalize things they haven't seen before in situations, in new situations. It's sort of one of the things that makes them so remarkable. Hold, left, left. Okay, find the chair, find the chair. Oh, good boy. Oh, what a good boy. But I don't think you want to sit on that. I'm guessing That's, it's a little wet. It's very wet. <laughs> I just got a whiff. What do you <laughs> I just got a whiff of something good. What are you, you smell smelling? That? No, I'm not. It smelled like breakfast to me. A lot of people ask me if, you know, is it scary being in a busy city like Seattle with a guide dog and having almost no vision at all? Mr. Maple gives me a lot of confidence. Some people don't obey traffic laws and Maple has actually intelligently disobeyed my command in order to protect the both of us from being hit by a car. It's kind of a cool thing, but I think most of the time, no, I feel very safe in the city. All right, we're gonna make a right. Maple, right, let's go, forward. All right, good boy, come on. 
Good boy. Find the stairs. Find the stairs. Where are you going? Good boy. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> he loves the stairs. Look, he even skipped the first one. So that was another generalization. Again, I don't know where we are, but as we were walking, I spotted these steps. So I thought I would just practice in his skills. Yeah, he got it. And he got it. Good boy. Yes, little generalizer. Okay, we're going to go this way. He loves a set of stairs. Okay, oh, it's like a playground. Good boy. Yes, of course. Yes, you found that so well. All right, baby, let's go forward. So he knows stairs, curb, pull, door, escalators, elevators. These are all terms that he's learned to generalize in new settings. They yeah. all have a very similar look to them. He's, he's figured that out. We're going to cross the street, right? Yeah. Or we're going to go right. Either. You or can go we, straight and right or you can go right now. Up that way. Maple, right? Hi. We are. Oh, thank you. We're making a YouTube video. Do you want to oh, meet? Do you want to meet Mr. Maple yeah. for the oh, video? So we just. Oh. Where do you live? I'm from the Okanagan in BC. Canada. Really? I used to live there. No. What? So oh, thank school. you. Thank, thank you so much. You. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm popping off the harness. This means he's off duty. Okay. So he can say hello. What was your name again? Madeline. Madeline. Okay. Meet oh. Mr. Maple. Oh, oh buddy. <laughs> He'll take his leash because he gets very proud of his leash. That's so cute. <laughs> Hello. His little rain jacket today. You're so cute. <laughs> That's your so little... you're the prankster? I am. Over That's there. me. So <laughs> the prankster, yes. Well, it was so yeah, nice to so meet nice you. Yeah, so nice to meet you. I'll let you go. Right, well, have a great yes, day. You too. Bye. Thanks for letting me meet you. Of home. course. Where are you? Right here. Bye. Wow, Maple. Did you enjoy that? Did you like getting to meet the new people? That's the best reward for Maple, is meeting somebody. Yeah. Okay, Maple, we're yeah. gonna go right. We're gonna go right. Ready? Right. Over this way. Okay, over. Who's this? Is there a, a passage in front of something or a car? Yeah, driveway. Oh, good boy. So, yeah. Okay, forward. Let's go, forward. Oh, he's coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, behind you, I didn't realize, I guess cars could come in and out. Yeah. And these sometimes appear in the middle of a block, a city block. Yeah. And I'm very unaware of things like that, but due to the dangers of cars coming out, again, he generalized and he's like, oh, this is a place where cars can emerge. Road. So he stopped quickly to warn me. Okay. Good boy, man. Boy, he's ball. such a good boy. Let's go forward. Oh, oh, see this? It's the other side of it. Yeah, but the, because it's a, quite an incline, actually, I've never encountered something quite this so, steep before. And he, so he stopped me at there and planted his paws as a little warning. He may have specifically found this spot because... Yeah, he's like, that's a kibble reward right there. <laughs> oh, Paul, across the street, I see a cafe sign. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. It says cafe bar. A Let's bar? Cafe Matthew. bar. It's not even noon. <laughs> Do you want to check it out? Does it look cute? Yeah, let's give it a try. Left. Okay, so yeah, it's right across the street. Oh, oh yeah, he wanted another to go. dog? Yes. Okay, That's I why he tell. took you way over this way. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> And it was a little one. He doesn't like little dogs. Okay, here it is. Look at that. What a good okay. boy. Found the door. He likes doors. He's like, let's get out of this cold. Oh, this is so cute in here. <laughs> Espressos, Americanas, macchiatos. What do you want to order? Maple? What would you like to order off the menu? What do you want? Okay, let's order something good. Maple. Hi, Maple. Oh, such a good boy. Okay, 
So we ordered our breakfast. Yes. We're waiting for it to come. I'm getting uh, avocado and egg and I think some potatoes. Okay. A little debrief here for the extended episode. Okay, yeah, yeah. This should be on the extended episode. What went right and what didn't go right? <laughs> right, because like, he's a dog. It's not gonna go perfect right. every time. Yeah. You're gonna have those little errors. I will say this about Mr. Maple is... Okay, if you want to see the extended episode and unlock yep. all of our extended episodes, head over to patreon.com forward slash Matthew and Paul, which really should be Matthew and Paul and Mr. Maple. Let's be yeah. honest. Don't want to head over to Patreon. You can actually unlock all of our extended episodes right here on YouTube. So just tap the link right there. I'm very hungry. This looks and smells amazing. What is this? Avocado. And then I'm going to stab a couple of these. A little bit of jam over here. Do not put the jam up. Just Ooh, a little. Gross, just gross, a tiny bit like that. Wow. Mm. 